Hello! So, where we left off last time, we've got our top here, but still should probably put some pants on. Or trousers on if you're British, like I am. So, what kind of thing do we want to do? See, I'm thinking that I might do a circle, and I'm going to bring it up, go on to this one. Yeah, you'll notice I did use a circle, not a square. That's because I'd like to try and round it a little. Now I'm going to go to top view. I'm going to select mirror mode. And I'm hoping it will. Good. So I'm going to put proportional editing on with zero. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it so that it goes out of the body a little. So as you can see, now it's out of the body, but now the sides are out too much. That's fine. Again, we're going to pull this in and down here to pull out, in, out, out. And I think the whole front row here is a bit more forward than it needs to be. So I'm going to pull it in, and then these two, I'm going to pull it down. Now, it is actually kind of square still, but that's fine. Now I'm going to go into edit mode, E. I'm going to just bring this down, and I'm going to flare it a little. Perfect. Now I can actually scale it. X, because it should be fairly evenly matched, and on the Y. And bring it up a little, just so that it's coming and going along that sort of line. So I do want to tilt it a little, so I'm going to do that. So it's bottom line again. And there we go. Super simple. Next up, we're going to go and front view. Straight across. I'm going to put a small bevel here. No, I'm not. I'm going to check a body select. Check a deselect, and I'm going to add a small bevel onto this, realizing I didn't want quite as many as I had, and I'm going to add some more in here, and I'm going to pin this. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to vertex groups, vertex groups, I'm going to go dirt, pin. doesn't actually need to be named pin, so I accidentally hit M, and that's perfectly fine. Sign it, go to cloth, and now if I go into pinning, which I will have to find, is it properties, stiffness, stamping, internal springs, pressure, collisions, shape, pin group is under shape. I got my pin. Now if I hit play, it should flop down, but you'll notice it goes into the leg. And that's fine, because we're going to set collision objects on everything. And I'm not going to do it on the arms, because I may as well, for the sake of not wasting too much. And now it won't go into the legs. Still looks a little bit stiff, though. Um, I'm going to keep the... I'm going to pull in some of these side parts as well. Because... The bits over here look a little bit messy. So I'm just going to... I should have mirror on. Good. So I now don't have to worry too much about... ruining anything because I have cloth modifier on. And that cloth modifier is going to do a lot of the work and making it look more natural. Brilliant. Now let's give it a shot here. Yeah, so shaking a little bit on the edges, and that's fine. I could also, if I wanted to, shade this smooth. But I'm considering just not. But for now, we will. 
and we can change some of these settings. Uh, how, how much it resists shearing, so let's say lower this. How much it, um, we don't want it to compress much, and we don't want it to, to stretch much. We do want it to bend quite a lot, and we have probably want to shear more than this too. So we want it to quite freely flow. Yep, this could work. Um, don't worry about that. We can fix that whenever we want. If we wanted to, we could even add a whole top layer here and add all of that to the pin group. Um, so there's like a solid waistband. And we want this to kind of just dangle. Then I could go to Material Properties, New, in this one skirt. Uh, I don't think I've got this one named, so I'll name this one top. And should we give this a, a blue colour? Again, textures are temporary. There we go, now we've got a, both a top and a skirt, and the skirt will actually flow. So if it's boring like that, and it'll flow down. But it will, most interestingly, if I were to go for the very first one, I'm in pose mode here. Uh, you don't have to do this, by the way. This is just me showing you what I mean. Uh, if I can work out the rig again. Why is this not moving anything? That should be the controls, but I seem to have disconnected my rig or something. Ah, I've got the IK on. There we go. Put the IK on for all of it. Now, go back into this. Now this should work. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is if I keyframe here, go, uh, go location rotation, then I bring one knee up, like so. And I frame that on, say, keyframe 70. And bring that up. There we go. Keyframing that on, so lock location rotation. Back to option mode. Now, if I hit play, it should exactly what we wanted. So, the cloth will not only stick to the character, but it'll actually move realistically. And that is how we're going to make our characters. So, joining tomorrow and what we'll do is we'll add textures to this and we could even add slightly more objects maybe some shoes but thank you for watching and i hope this is useful have a nice evening